domestic battery supply chain is developing not so much from the ground up, but more with large investments and significant policy support for the battery manufacturing as well as the uh, manufacturing or processing of active materials, so things like cathode and anode. This is laying the groundwork for unlocking the economics of multiple domestic lithium projects over the next decade. I wouldn't say the biggest projects, but I would take a look at the different types of lithium hosted geologies that are currently under exploration in the United States. So in Nevada and in Utah, you've got some very interesting sediment hosted brine projects. You've also got a lot of clays and claystone sediment type projects. Then we're looking at a lot of pegmatites on the East Coast in North Carolina, Kings Mountain with Piedmont and Albemarle even looking at expanding. And then you also have some of these interesting non-conventional brines. So you've got geothermal brine exploration happening in the Salton Sea in California, as well as uh, interesting oil field brine uh, exploration that's happening in this Macover formation in Arkansas. What I discussed earlier with better infrastructure and additional investments in parts of the supply chain that come next are really going to unlock the value in deposits in these different formations, but along different timelines. So Luna Lithium is developing an exploration project on the Columbus Salt Marsh, which is located in central Nevada. Uh, we just put our first drill hole in and we're waiting for the results. And we're looking to understand how the lithium is present in the brines in Nevada and really put ourselves in a position to be at the, for, at the forefront of understanding these brine sediment interactions and how we can use them to unlock new deposits in Nevada.